today we're gonna be reacting to the most epic fails. Have you ever seen a Pikachu that looks like this? Why are the ears on Pikachu's butt? That's where the tail's supposed to go. Whoever made this clearly has ever watched Pokemon in their life. So before you stare at this picture, it looks like corn, right? It's corn! No guys, this is not corn. It's watermelon. See, it says watermelon on the sticker. This person failed. Orange pumpkin pals. Guys, Halloween is coming up and this market decided that they wanted to sell orange pumpkin pails, but they're blue! Why are they blue and not orange? Stress spelled backwards is dessert. D-E-S-S-E-R-T-S. -S -E Stress. Oh, that's true. Wait, no, it's not. Stress spelled backwards is desserts, not dessert. They forgot the S. When leaving, please turn off the lights. Where are the lights? This person decided to give their mailman a delivery instruction and clearly they did not follow it through. It's a surprise party for my mother and we live together. So please can the box not look obvious? It's party supplies. They put the note on the box. That gave it away. So if their mother sees the box and she reads it, she's gonna know it's party supplies. Someone designed this bathroom and decided, hey, you know what? We gotta include short people and I'm a short person so I appreciate this. I think I could fit. Here's another bathroom design. Someone with long arms decided that the toilet paper should be all the way on the other side of the toilet seat. When you're sitting on the toilet, you have to get up, grab the toilet paper and sit back down. That is not a good design. This elevator looks so confusing. Why are there negative numbers? And why is it in that order? Hi, what floor would you like to go on? Uh, negative two, please. Does this sign say don't pull, push only? Or don't push, pull only? This is so confusing, but you have a 50-50 chance of figuring it out. Comment down below which one you think it is. Do not stack. This person literally had one job not to stack the items and he just stacked it. This person did not understand the assignment. Okay, turn left. But the arrow's pointing right? Which instruction do you follow? Hmm? Wait, what? Oh my gosh, no, that is such a bad bathroom design. What's the point of having stalls if people can see what's happening underneath? Why do you put the stalls like eye level when people walking past can literally see you sitting on the toilet? Where's the privacy? You had one job, long yellow things. They're called bananas. Imagine walking into a store and you go to the worker and ask, hey, do you guys sell long yellow things? And they're like, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Get ready for winter. Sorry, what? Get ready for winter? Who wears flip-flops during winter? Maybe they're saying like, get ready for winter because you're gonna be traveling to a hot place, right? Oh, this is at a supermarket. Ice cream? That does not look like ice cream. Are you sure that's ice cream? It's funny how they put ice cream in that aisle with the pasta. Pasta doesn't need to be refrigerated when it's uncooked. Cooked. So is there ice cream or pasta in this aisle? You know when you order a birthday cake and then someone asks you to write what you want on the birthday cake? This person wrote just write happy birthday. So obviously the person reading that would write happy birthday. But this person wrote just write happy birthday. They literally wrote everything that was on that paper. Oh okay so another bathroom one. Men, women, women, men. Ooh, so which one do you go into? I'd be so scared if I walked into the wrong one. You have a 50-50 chance of going in the right one, and if you go into the wrong one, that is scary. Okay, we have books, dog, moo, cat. Wait a minute. Okay, dog is right, cat is right. Why is the chicken under moo? Why wouldn't it be called cow instead of moo? Like, if you're gonna do the sound of the animal, you should do woof for the dog and meow for the cat. That is an interesting design. On the surface, this sink doesn't look that bad, but when you look closer, you realize you can only wash your fingertips, especially if you have big hands or long fingers, it's gonna be so hard to like work your way around that sink. That was a fail. That was most definitely a fail. $129 floats on water. Ooh. Oh, and it's not floating. <laughs> that is such a fail. That's really bad marketing. That does not look good for this company. Here we got a simple hero style cup. We got Batman logo and it says Spider-Man. Yeah, definitely Spider-Man. This sign says do not enter, enter only? Wait, what? This is just as confusing as the push or pull one. So do you enter or do you not enter? To enter or not to enter? <laughs> I guess we'll never know. Hopefully no one reads this straight across from left to right like I did. You don't matter, give up. Oh, it's supposed to say you matter, don't give up. Ooh, that one's not too bad, but if people were driving past it and they read you don't matter, give up, that would be really sad. They'd be like, wow, what a great message. Thanks. In case of fire, use stairs. That's kind of funny. That's not really a fail in my opinion. It's just creative. Because obviously you can't pick up stairs and just wave the fire away. Just use the stairs. This convenience store says open nine days a week. How many days in a week are there? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's seven, not nine. We're on Earth. 
So there's only seven days in a week. Hmm, sus. Whoever designed this playground has no idea how to use this. You're supposed to sit on it and then spin it. You can't spin it in a full circle like this. 